Tumble Type 4 introduces poster images that lets you generate a static image from any point in your animation. So in this example, we want to generate a static image from this point in the timeline. So to do that, I'm going to make sure I'm in the Document Inspector, and then I'm going to click Capture Current Scene. What this does is it generates a capture at the same resolution as our scene, and the default name is set as poster, and it's a JPEG. And it's going to be a 1x resolution image. If you select 2x, this will make an image double your scene size. When I export it to my desktop, I can see that the file is added right in the resource library. And then it's a JPEG with the name poster at 450 by 450. In the majority of cases, this is the workflow you would use. But let's say you have a little more complex of a document. Let's say you have a document with two layouts, one 300 by 300 and one 450 by 450. We want to create two separate exports, each of these exports having a poster image. It's pretty easy to do that too. You just jump to the moment in time you want, hit capture, switch to your other document, and then click Capture again. And now you see that we have two separate items in the resource library, a 300 by 300 and 450 by 450. So when you export, make sure you use Advanced Export instead of the regular folder export. And then you're going to make sure you select your two separate slices. These individual slices have your poster image automatically selected and the size reflects the poster image included in that export. So this will export these two separate slices and I'm just going to show you how that looks like. In the 300 by 300 we see that we have a poster JPEG and it is 300 by 300. And then back into the 450 by 450 We've got a separate moment in time from a separate layout exported at the correct resolution. Of course, if you want to capture a different moment, you can just move the time again and re-click Capture Current Scene. You can also click this button at the bottom of the resource library. And if you modify the properties of your poster image, this applies to both layouts. So if you want both to change to PNG and both exported at double resolution for retina screens, you would just re-hit capture with your new uh, properties. If you have any additional questions about poster images, let us know in the comments below. Otherwise, check out our documentation, which is linked at the bottom of this video. Thanks very much.